What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video, I wanted to go through some of the changes that they made in the new version of InScape. So a lot of you know InScape is a 3D real-time rendering program that uh, I've always really liked just because of its ease of use. You don't have to mess around with a lot of settings, you can just kind of click and go. And they released a new version with some cool new features and I figured I'd just kind of walk you guys through them as I tested them out. So before we get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I put together to help people basically get up and running in SketchUp fast. You can ask questions, but in this case you get lifetime access to all of the videos. You can go back, you can watch them again, um, and it really gives you a chance to uh, get that SketchUp instruction while being able to take your time and actually learn how to use the software. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure you check out that link at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So to start off, these are both models from the 3D warehouse that I'm going to use in this video. So the first one is Solar House by Paul Wall, and the second one is Restaurant by Paul Wall. And I will link to both of those notes, uh, both of those models in the links down below. Paul Wall creates a lot of models in the SketchUp warehouse, so make sure to check out his models. He has a lot of really cool stuff on there. So the first thing I wanted to check out is InScape has added a material editor. And so the material editor allows you to come in and edit SketchUp materials um, for how they're going to show up within InScape itself. And so one of the cool things about the new material editor is a lot of you know that in the past a lot of programs have kind of struggled with SketchUp materials interface. Well what they've done is they've built in this cool new uh, editor where you can select various materials and you can come in and you can edit them, you can apply different kinds of presets, um, you can kind of tint the color or adjust the fade, all of those different kinds of things. You can also include a bump map. Um, so you can tell it to bump map based on the material inside your object. So you can basically come in here and make all of those changes and those will actually adjust in InScape on the fly. So for example, and I'll see if I can get these to show up on the same screen, but for example, if I was to come in here and I've got this tile material on my floor right now, and if I was to come in here and select that tile material, like this and then go back to my rendering then I could come in here and I could apply a bump map based on that and you can see how that would actually apply as I go and so you can see that's a little heavy so probably what we would do is we would adjust this down a little bit and so you can see how you can adjust your bump map and your different things in here just by dragging a slider and you can see how those change as we go so you can see how as I drag this up this will map this more based on that texture and material so you can use this to quickly edit and adjust different materials in here so I would give this just a slight bump map and so you could come in here and you could make adjustments to other materials as well. So like for example, if I was to, within my SketchUp model, select this wood material, then I could adjust the bump map of the wood and I could also come in here and I could adjust the sizing because you can see how the wood right now doesn't look very realistic. So I could adjust this bump map like way down and you can see how this is adjusting over here. You could also come in and you could use a texture transformation to really make that a lot smaller to make it look a little bit more realistic and a little bit different. So. Um, you can see how you can come in and you can make those changes now and adjust those textures and those materials using the material editor. So that's something I'm really excited about. So they, they've also included the ability to adjust your settings while in virtual reality. So you can adjust things like time of day, the outlines, and other things, meaning you don't have to jump out of VR to get everything adjusted, which is great because it can be very jarring to jump out of VR, make a change, and then jump back in over and over again. This is a lot more convenient. I will note though, it would be nice if they would adjust their locomotion system. If you're prone to motion sickness, um, then uh, the way that you have to jump around in here um, can be a little bit difficult. So they have a teleportation system which can help you avoid that. So I think maybe a little bit more tweaking on that would be nice, but overall being able to adjust your settings in VR is a great feature. So one of the other things I'm excited about is they've also added the ability to export a depth map and a material ID whenever you export an image. And so what that does 
What that does when you export a screenshot to your folder is it'll export your image, but it'll also export a depth map and a material map ID, which makes post-processing this stuff really easy because you can just come in here and you can see how all the different materials are actually mapped to different colors. So like for example, I could just go in and Photoshop and I could select these black images and then in the background, I could replace those or I could mask those out and I could put an image in the background of like a city or something like that. So it's very helpful for post-processing. So I'm actually really excited about this change. So they've also added a new keyframe editor tool. And so what the keyframe editor tool does is it actually lets you save different views um, by tapping the K key within Enscape. And then what that'll do is that'll pop this new camera in here um, that you can fly around and you can click on. And then you can actually adjust things like your field of view. So you can save your field of view inside that scene as well as things like time of day. And you can save multiple scenes that way. So like if I wanted to come over here and get a second view, I could just fly over here. But you can add a new keyframe by doing this and you can click on it and you can adjust the view settings of that particular keyframe as well. So let's say I wanted this to be more of a sunset shot. You could come in here and you could adjust this and you could click apply to save that new view. So you can see how you can actually find these different views that you've set and just switch back and forth between them really quickly. So they've also added the ability to batch export different scenes. So if you go up to your manage views, any scenes that you set as a favorite it's gonna allow you to export. So you can come in here and you can set multiple scenes to favorite. And then in your manage views section, you can export screenshots of all those different locations. So you can see how whenever I clicked on that, this comes in here and that'll export all those different views. And if you have the depth map, map option, it'll also export that along with your material ID. So you can export those multiple views at the same time. So they've also added the ability to add sound to your exported models. Um, personally, I would always add these in a video program afterwards. So it's not necessarily something that I'm looking for, but I think a lot of people are gonna find that useful as well. That's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Um, do you like real-time rendering programs? Um, how do you feel about this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.